Oui, je m'appelle Tracy avec Steve. Uh, C'est Lou avec Chris. We, um, we sail together. We're two solo sailors. We both have our own boats in the UK and uh, we've uh, done a fast net campaign previously together and we decided that uh, Chris sold his boat and we decided that we together would do you know a, a two-handed transatlantic race or and the transcord came along so that seemed uh, seemed the best thing to do and it's been great it really has we've had it all yeah. haven't we the weather so yeah so when we uh, the race started it was calm and um, we had a uh, beat um, around a few boys to get away from the wind farm uh, which took all night because very light wind and then I think we went on into uh, a beat all the way across Bay of Biscay or uh, Gascoigne as the French would call it um, and we never we never saw any other conditions other than windward conditions all the way to well actually all the way to south of the separation zone off Finisterre we beat the whole way so uh, not not usual I don't think no up to a up to gale force in Biscay as we were coming out but nearly always force four to six. So yeah, quite heavy sailing, made life on board a bit, a bit uncomfortable. Didn't get much sleep for the first two or three days. Yeah. Much sleep at all. Uh, not much proper food, just snacks that we could make, lots yeah. of tea. Um, oh, lots of tea and biscuits. Lots of tea and biscuits. Um, but yeah, then as, as we got into Spain and we hit a bit of calm weather, we were able to get a proper meal and a bit of proper rest ready for the next leg out into the Atlantic. And then when we finally got going out into the Atlantic proper, the weather was glorious. Champagne sailing, yeah. hot, sunny, downwind conditions. Whales, so whales. Yeah, yeah. so whales, dolphins, everything. Good, yeah, it was yeah, really good. The, the full experience of uh, the Transquadra.